right, so just got here to John Market. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, uh, Empathetic Wonders. My name is Jeff. Sorry about this a bit makeshift uh, intro. I came across some content on Korea. If you saw my last video, you know that I was kind of saying like, oh, the next video is gonna be about Japan. Uh, but I came across some uh, good content on Bujan Market, which is like one of the, my favorite places in uh, Busan, South Korea. And so uh, I just wanted to put a little bit of a video together. It's not like a my normal kind of vlog, like it's more just kind of like a walking tour of the market. I didn't for some reason talk too much uh, to the camera in the market. Um, so I just wanted to put this out there though. It's definitely somewhere I recommend going. Um, and then uh, after this week, I will get to uh, Japan content moving forward. So I hope you enjoy and let's get to the video. originally planning on putting this into my like Busan vlog because I wanted to have like an overarching um, kind of like this is what you can do in Busan um, but there were a couple places that I decided not to do that with because I thought that they were bigger and they deserved more time um, <clears throat> I may still include it in the video but I wanted to make a longer video of like uh, Ujun market because it really surprised me like I have gone to a lot of markets since I've been here in Korea and they've all kind of not been the same but like I don't know nothing really wowed me but Ujun market was like crazy like it was there was so much there were so many things to see and like it's the only market I've been to where I've been like I want to go back tomorrow because I feel like I missed so much so um if I did put this in that vlog, uh, then I've already said this, but um, the, the cool thing about um, the Jun Market is a lot of the markets that I've been to here in Korea have been like specialty markets. So like it's like a dried goods market or it's like where you buy clothes or it's like where you buy electronics or like, you know, seafood, this, that, or the other. This one was very much like everything. So uh, it really like, gave me a chance in like a one-stop shop thing to be able to see like food vendor stalls and to, we also to be able to see like all the different types of uh, foods that they um, they ferment or all the different types of kimchi and like um, it was it was just a like all-inclusive experience I think for like your uh, Korean uh, market uh, experience so I would definitely recommend going um, it's there's a um, obviously there's no cost to get in but there is a metro station that you can get off it's Bujun Market or maybe it's just Bujun uh, and it is line it's the orange line I'm looking at it right now but I don't know which number it is um, I'll put it in right now um, but super easy to get to and it's a little bit of a maze uh, there's wet parts of it and there's dry parts of it so I would definitely recommend bringing shoes that you don't want to get wet or dirty because um, sometimes the wet stuff is difficult to 
scare me so much. I mean, I understand that this looks kind of weird, but it's like distracting when I'm vlogging because people will walk behind the camera and they just stare the whole time. Uh, so it's hard to kind of keep on message. Um, this is Wujan Market. Make sure you try and remember which way you came. That was probably actually like my favorite market I've been to in all of Korea, and I'm directing on my trip here. Um, I liked, uh, it wasn't like anything specific. Like every other market I've gone to has had like a specialty that I'm sure, you know, there's a reason for it, but as a tourist, it's really cool to be able to walk around a place that has kind of like everything. So it was like dry goods and home goods and knives and garlic and kimchi and fish. I mean, there was live fish, there was dead fish, there were dried fish products, there was like everything you could possibly, there was fruit, vegetables, like everything that you could have needed was there. And uh, so I, 
I really enjoyed it. Um, I could have spent a lot more time there. I unfortunately had to leave. All right, so as I was going through all of my Korea content, obviously I came across all of this boots on market content, but I didn't really film while I was in the market, which I don't really remember it happening that way. Also, sorry for this. I'm currently in Japan. Uh, I'm filming this uh, ending about three months after I was actually at Bujan Market. Um, so sorry about this, but this is the reality of laundry during the rainy season. Uh, I have to hang everything randomly in my apartment. Um, but that was Bujan Market. It's, like I said, one of my favorite places in Busan. Um, lots of things to do, lots of things to see, lots of things to buy, lots of things to eat, clothes, all that kind of stuff that you would want to do. So I would definitely recommend going uh, if you are looking for something to do in Busan. Um, if you like kind of content like that, definitely hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell uh, so that you don't miss out on any of the content that I'm putting out uh, every single week. Um, after this, there will be a Spanish video and then there will be a kind of like a how like the best things to do in Busan. But after that, there will be um, Japan content moving forward. So uh, I really appreciate anyone that's watching. Uh, let's just all keep being empathetic, keep wandering, keep spreading positivity. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye. If you are the one that's asking the question um, of what is your name, all you need to say is como se llama, como se llama.